Hi friends, in this video, let us see an exciting method of coding of mathematics. Okay, this method is used by ancient Indian mathematics right from the times unknown. Okay, and this method is called as Bhuta Sankhya. Okay, and uh, the beauty is this method can be used very effectively even today while learning mathematics. Okay, and the beauty of this system is it's a very, very simple system and also when we are learning mathematics, that also can become a poem. Okay, we can learn mathematics in the poetic way. That is the beauty. Okay, so let me take uh, one example. And this Bhuta Sankhya system is a method of recording numbers using common words which express numerical values. Okay, even today, friends say, for example, I want to express uh, 2, for example, numerical value 2. I can just say instead of 2, I can say 2 eyes. Okay, when I say eyes, that means to say 2. That's all. And when I have to mention, let us say number 10, I may say that fingers. When I say fingers, that is 10 fingers I am talking about. Okay. So I can always replace fingers for the numerical value 10. I can always replace eyes for the numerical value of 2. Right. Like this, for each numerical value, we can replace the common words, general words what we use every day. So that it is not only learning mathematics or arithmetics, but also we can learn in a poetic way and we can see the relationship between the language and the mathematics. Okay, that is what we are talking about subject integration now. So let me take a few examples. See, for example, I have written uh, in uh, Devanagari. Okay, and also I will explain uh, in uh, English. Let us say for number zero. Okay, whatever things represent number zero. Okay, so they were using this. Say for example, Bindu, a dot, Akasha. Okay, Purna, Shunya, okay, Brahman. Like this, whenever we are talking about Parama Puja, that is, for the number zero, we were using the words like this. Common words were used were Bindu, Akasha, Purna, Shunya, Brahman, like this. And for number one, okay, whichever represents one, that is Adi, means right from beginning, Bhumi, that is Earth, Chandra, Moon, Vadana, Face, Brahman, okay, Brahma, all one. Okay, say for example, number two, and whichever represents two, for example, Netra is nothing but eyes, two eyes. Okay, Dakshinayana, Uttarayana, two ayanas, Hasta is two hands, Akshi again are two eyes and Pani is nothing but two uh, hands. Okay, Hasta is palm and Pani is two hands. Okay, say for example to represent number three, Triguna we say. Okay, Sat, Rajas, Tamas. So three gunas and three lokas we say. Okay, and for four, four ashtamas, Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanatrastha and Sanyasa. Correct, four ashtamas, four Vedas, Rig Veda, Ejir Veda, Samaveda, Tharuna Veda, four varnas or four yugas, okay, we were using. And five, for number five, they were using as uh, pancha bhutas, pancha pranas, pancha pandavas, pancha indriyas, we know. Okay, for six, they were using six rutus, okay, and shat rasa, we say, okay, and shat darshana, we say, okay, darshana, we were using six, and for seven, vasara, that is days, seven days, sapta swara, we say, sapta, seven swaras, sapta ashwa, we say, seven ashwas, okay. For eight, we were using Ashta Vasu, we say Vasu, Ashta Siddhi, we say Anima Legima and all those things. Okay. For nine, we were using Randhra, that is Navarandhra in our body, Navadurga, nine Durgas, Navagrahas, nine planets, okay, like this. And for ten, we were doing Dasha Avatara, okay. Dasha Anguli is ten fingers, Dash Dish is uh, directions, that is uh, ten directions, like this. For each numerical value, they were using different words, okay, common words. And they were representing the entire mathematics in the poetic way. Friends, is it not very exciting and interesting? Okay. And uh, the probably the homework for us is, let us use our language, whether our native language or English. And can we uh, use these words to represent the numerals, common words used, represent, uh, which uh, represent the numerals and make our own poems of mathematics? Okay. Think of uh, poetic mathematics. Such a beautiful concept. Right, friends? So please try your own uh, general words and numerals. And uh, then please give examples in the comment section also. Okay, friends, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now because I am planning to upload many more videos of this kind. And please share it with others so that they will also understand this exciting method. And uh, uh, if you want to say anything, don't forget to put it in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.